Hello fellow YouTubers and aliens, I forgot to mention them in the last video. Um, today we're going to go back to Omnisphere and on this horrible, wet and drizzly and very windy um, afternoon, um, we're going to look at how to find sounds in Omnisphere. I've seen quite a lot of traffic recently in posts and forums and Facebook where people are struggling to actually find the sound they, act they want um, without just idly preset surfing and that is such a killer in uh, you know, creativity is just sitting there going through presets we've all been there we've all done it um, I've done it myself trying to find that sound that I can just tweak a little bit to fit into the track and uh, I thought in this video we're gonna have a look at how you can narrow down the type of sound you're looking for so in Omnisphere uh, it uses something called the Boolean search for finding sounds. Now the term Boolean, it comes from uh, the guy who actually came up with this system called George Boole, spelt B-O-O-L-E. I won't go into all the details or anything about what he did and anything to come up with the system. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to uh, the page that I found that goes into the history of Boolean searches, etc. Which, for the geeks in you, might find interesting. So. Really what Boolean logic's about is using um, different terms to narrow down the search fields. So in Omnisphere, we can summarize this as using or, and, or not. So or, and, not. Um, so you can find, so you say you want strings or leads, strings and leads, strings but not leads, and it'll narrow the whole field down for you. So this is, all depending on how your sounds are tagged in Omnisphere. And that's why the tagging system in Omnisphere is really, really useful and helpful to get right. Um, so when you design your own sounds, please, please, please tag them using Spectrasonics's format instead of coming up with your own. It makes life so much easier for the user. Uh, now, get off my salt box on that now. So, how do we search? So, we've got several ways of doing it. We can do keyword search. So if I want trance sounds, I just type in trance, and after a little bit, it'll come up with all trance search uh, sounds. But my God, there's a lot there. Uh, strings comes up with string sounds. So that's one way of actually searching. But as you can see, it brings back so many matches. So what we can do is if you go into what I'm going to show you here will work in the multi mode as well. So, just to save time, I'll just go into the patch. So, in here, um, we've got them all tagged in the categories, the type, the genre, and the author. Now, what we can do, we can say, right, we've got little drop downs up here that you click on, and you got or and or not. Um, I think it's automatically set, yeah, it's automatically set for and. I think off the top of my head. Just bear with me. Come on, get back to mine. Yeah, yeah, it's all automatically set for and I think. So it's just thinking about it. Yes, automatically set for and. So when you select something, it's and. So what we need to do here, um, we've like I said, we've got the, the categories. You've got category, type, genre, and author. You can change these by using the, sorry, this drop down here. So you can say, I want to change it to model. So you can choose your sound by model. Um, but if we go back to what we were aware on, type. Come on, there we go. Um, it, it takes a bit because just to give you a hint, yeah, I'm a bit obsessive on Omnisphere. I've collected a lot of libraries over the time, as you can see. So we won't go into that. Um, for those who don't know me, I love Omnisphere. For those that know me, you know I love Omnisphere. So the first thing we've got, we've got or. So for example, within the genre column, you can command click or control click. Uh, say, let's go for an easy one film say you want all the sounds that a film um, and you also want 
electronic. So hold down control, like I say, control, click on the PC or command click on, on the Mac. And if you look at the right hand column, you see it, it narrows it down. And we can go a bit further, we can say, oh, okay, we'll film electronic drone. Goes down a bit further, we'll have uh, creepy. That will whittle it down a bit more. Uh, and we'll have base. So it'll come up with anything that's tagged with those sounds. Not specifically all of these, but it'll have one of those tags in that sound. And just to show that, we'll go into Brain Ball and we go into Edit Tags. So in there, we've got, uh, where are we? Genre, electronic, and we've got film in the genre already, you see. So that's why it's coming up. So that's what we're saying. So we want a sound that's got film or electronic or drone or creepy. Now, if you want to just say we want film and electronic, uh, the easy way of doing that is command on right click or control on right click on a PC. So, sorry, just go that. So if I just go to say that right, if I go control and right click on film, so I want film, whoops, sorry, that's my fault. I want film and I want something digital. I've got nothing that's digital tagged film and digital so okay we'll go film and electro there we go we've got a few things that are tagged as film and electro so if i go into uh silk joys i haven't got a clue what this sounds like so let's have a play <laughs> Set device that's always a good thing if you get a stuck note if you just go into view whoops don't want to view a keyboard what am i doing view and settings and just click click reset device it just sets it back it sometimes happens when you start playing before the sound's actually fully loaded um don't know why but it does but anyway back to this so we've found a, the sounds that i've tagged as a film and electro so it's got to have those two tags in if we go into here we'll see it has film tick electro tick so there you go that's a quick way of whittling down your sounds now we've got one more to do so what we want to do now is find sounds that show you the results that are not tagged with these attributes so what we want to do now is i want to find sounds that are not film so the way to do that is to option click or alt click on a PC. So if I say, I don't want anything that's electronic. I don't want anything that's a drone. Uh, can I do more than one? So I need to do control, uh, control and alt on a PC or uh, command and alt on a Mac. And I can choose many. So if I don't want drone, I don't want film. I don't want electro and there we go right so we'll go for inversions oh so now up there we go just if you're curious what it sounded like so in here you can see that the genre is uh, electronic pop quirky and i've not ticked any of those which is great so it works so that's a quick way of whittling down the sounds to say you want to find a sound that contains something and something and something or contains or isn't any of these um and it works on multiple columns as well so i can say i want none of those but i want it to be analog strings so i want it to contain analog strings um uh, if we go into that I want a synth poly. Now, as synth poly doesn't have, it's gone to mood, you see, it's flipped over to mood because synth poly hasn't been 
tag with genre for some reason. I'm not sure why it's done that. There we go. Not sure why it flicked over, but anyway, synth poly, analog strings, I want film and dance and dubstep but not diverse oh, don't let me do that you can only do one of right what i'm saying now is i don't want any of these in here you can't mix boolean in this column it's one or the other is and it's the or the and or the not you can't have a mixture of or and and not in the same column but you can so you can have, say, this on and, that on or, that on not, and then you can pick and choose and whittle down you know, to the sound you want. Um, there's another way of doing it. You can say, I want film and electronic. Oops electronic because you've got to have type in the right tags if i typed in a lowercase e it wouldn't it wouldn't work so if i do that analog drama and i'm in synth poly so it's gonna uh, come up if i go into tags uh, it's got electronic and film so that's another way of doing it you can type film and electronic you can type in film or electronic and it will do the same so we're using the same boolean search terms here and you've got film not i think you've got to type in film i think it's film not electronic no it's not it's film and not electronic i think you've got to type in that's it so if you want to use the not boolean you've got to tell type in and not so film and not electronic so if I go into say called shine, say, it will be tagged here. It's tagged as film, but it's not electronic. So that's how so that's another way of actually doing a Boolean search. So what I will do, um, in leaving the comments below, well not in the comments, but description below for the the um for this video. I couldn't think what I was actually doing here then for a minute. I'm I'm actually making a video. Hopefully it's useful to you all. I'm gonna Put in the key commands for selecting or and not because I can appreciate we've gone through it quite quick. So you can now look at that, go back through the video again. And if you found this video really useful and helpful, I would really, really, really appreciate if you spread the word, subscribe to this channel, ding that bell so you know when the next video is going to come. You know, I want to grow this channel with you. I want to provide material that is useful for you whether it be Omnisphere or any other synthesizer that I can get my hands on software or hardware and just let this channel grow together and thank you for your time